Hi everybody, welcome to Why Buy. Today we're going to talk about the Simon & Patrick Songsmith Dreadnought. So I actually bought this guitar for my wife. Um, she had always wanted to learn uh, to play the guitar and, and really just never got around to it. A lot of her family uh, is fairly musically inclined and going back um, years, fam the family would get together, uh, play around the campfire. So that kind of, there was always that itch there for, for her to, to learn as well. So um, about a year ago, I decided to surprise her for her birthday and um, you know help find find a, a guitar that she could start to learn off of. So, so we do a lot of things together, especially in the winter. Uh, you know, and in, in Canada, that's six months out of the year. So we're stuck indoors playing board games and video games and doing puzzles. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to buy her a guitar of her own and I could teach her. There's a lot of directions you can go when you're looking for your first guitar. From what I understood, she wanted that traditional acoustic guitar sound that she grew up hearing. So where do you start when you're looking for that, maybe not entry level, but mid-tier acoustic guitar? Because I wanted her to have this for a few years and not really grow out of that beginner guitar. You could buy an entry level guitar because a lot of people do try and fail and quit. Um, my personal opinion on that is, I think a lot of people fail and quit because of the guitar they purchased. They're difficult to play. Some of the most difficult guitars I've ever played were the the entry level guitars. It seems like it should be the opposite way around, but it isn't. So just, just a quick frame of reference for you. Your, your entry level guitars are probably going to be $300 or less, mid-tier, anywhere from that $300 range to maybe $900 or $1,000. And high-end guitars, I mean, the sky's the limit. So what I wanted for my wife was something that had a lot of the features from maybe a higher-end guitar, but was easy for her to maintain and take care of. 10 years ago, the acoustic guitar market was either absolute crap or very high end. There wasn't that in-between brand you could go to and get something of decent quality. Godin, a Canadian manufacturer out of Montreal, was kind of a pioneer in providing great value and high quality control. So a friend of mine worked at a guitar shop um, and a part of his job was to um, unbox and set up these guitars in the store um, for the, in the shop. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, in talking to him about Simon and Patrick, um, he never actually had any issues where he had to send back a guitar with quality issues. Some other things he said is that these guitars for, at their price point were flying off the shelves. Um, people were coming in and asking for that, you know, sub $1,000 guitar that, you know, kind of had it all and was durable and, and these things kind of checked all those boxes. The nice thing about buying into Simon & Patrick is you're not necessarily buying into a big brand name, but you're buying into the same components. So let's say you're looking at a comparable Martin or Taylor for this guitar. You're probably paying a three or $400 premium just for that name. But if you know what you're buying, um, you can really get away with a really good quality guitar, a good build, uh, for, a, for a really good price. So let's talk about this Dreadnought. Now for starters, if it looks a little bit different than what you're seeing online, that's because this specific guitar is only sold through Long McQuaid. So if you're looking to buy a Simon & Patrick guitar, you have to go through a retailer, and what's nice is on their website, you can type in your address and it'll direct you to um, retailers in your area. For me, yeah, there was one five minutes from my place and I was able to just walk into the store and find the guitar I was looking for. So there are two different tops you can actually get from Simon & Patrick. It's either a spruce top or a cedar top. 
So cedar is a softer wood. So from that, you're going to have more warmer and softer tones where spruce is a, is a more hard wood and you're gonna have more of a bright tone coming from that. So I chose a spruce top for my wife because these guitars are more suited for finger style picking and folk style music. So if you're looking for a more rhythm guitar, you might wanna look into the cedar top. What I like about this specific guitar is that it has a nice natural finish spruce soundboard but the back and sides are laminated. You really don't have to stress about storing this in the right humidity. You can literally leave this in your office in the guitar bag and it can be just a grab and go guitar, kind of like any electric guitar. I think it's a credit to Godin knowing their audience, which is North America, where the temperature and humidity fluctuations are pretty crazy, especially up north where, where I'm from. Um, it'd be very stressful to have to maintain a guitar, you know, go on vacation and think about if I set the humidity right so my expensive guitar isn't drying up and twisting while I'm gone. And, you know, I think about, you know, putting that burden on someone like my wife as a first time guitar owner, um, it'd be very stressful. So Godin does make a higher end line of guitars called Siegel, but you don't have to buy Siegel to get a real guitar. This, in a lot of ways, is a higher-end guitar that you're getting for cheaper because the brand name just isn't marketed. And that's really what Simon & Patrick is. It's a non-flashy, traditional acoustic guitar. It's something that I wanted for her because I knew that was something she would expect in owning her own acoustic guitar. <laughs> So even if you had to sell this or buy one second hand, uh, they do hold up very well. This is six or seven months old now. To resell or, or, or find second hand, it, it would just be more of a bargain. A lot of people think you need to step up to that solid body guitar to get a good guitar. But to be completely honest, this guitar plays great and sounds great and most importantly for me, is easy to live with. So if you thought this video was helpful, please show your support, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And they'll direct you to the, the retailers in your area. Wah! In your arr. In your arr. What was I saying? So let's say for example, you're thinking about buying a comparable Martin or a Taylor. Easily, you're looking at a three to four hundred thousand dollar price jump. Four hundred thousand dollar price jump? Oh my god! Did I say that? You said that? I said four hundred thousand. Oh man, they must be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember saying that. <laughs> okay.